chúng tôi xưa cha chúng sẽ ta ở đây cái mình tên thay nít lành xem lại show bò dưỡng tao làm mua quen hơi ở con bằng bộ đồng áo khí đẹp ban cho room tôi sạch ngày nít được khơi như anh ta bỏ ra xong ha như bò dưỡng ngày nít cứ có bông này chơi kết nhóm hơi hơi đừng nhóm dễ dùng vi ca chưa được một mà hố mà nè trà xong vậy khmer xanh trà tụi này nhung vừa lấy dương bông vậy đang ở chỗ yên chân dương vậy chụp cái sạc khmer xanh á một một nè nghe biết được xong chưa rơ rơ ấy cái ấy cái sẽ cố ăn tập và học sao các bạn thấy ở đây là dân phơi chụp cái ngày này sẽ cố ăn tập và học chân chân nhưng xong tôi thay ngày ní dương đang phơi lại bao dương chỉ biết là ăn lẻ chỉ tu tới bấm viên chụp nạch na để khi nhom cái thà bong bồn chọn đường vận thay được các bạn trẻ nó nhưng mình phơi chỉ biết là khmer khác khác bỏ tay chỉ biết là khmer khác khác các bạn thấy chỉ tu tới nên chỉ biết là ăn lẻ nó chân du du mà đo dương plapado hay là dương plapado con ca áp thì bọn luôn dương vậy hay là đập ông pi mà hốt chỉ phải ra ông kia có bị dạng đài mà nè chà ok chà anh chân thank you Joey very very much for joining us on the live show and I just mention briefly to our audience to our fans that look at you so handsome white skin that's what Cambodian said yeah white skin that's 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 a that's a key um would I wouldn't expect you to choose a dish with Pure for hawk, yeah. <laughs> but so yeah. So please introduce yourself to our audience and Chumipso. anything oh. you would like to talk about yourself, please. Okay, Chum uh, Ripsol. Uh, I'm Joey. Uh, introduce myself. Uh, I'm a coach living here in Cambodia, and I've been here for just over coming up to two years now. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. So what do I do as a coach? I work with um business leaders to help them develop their authentic leadership um, style and implement that in their workplaces mm. I also help people achieve what they want in life um, by figuring out what they want and who they are that's really oh, cool nice. um, yeah so just tell us a little bit out of many many dishes after <laughs> two years living in Cambodia yeah. almost two years why why you decided to choose dish dish to cook for us and maybe just tell it tell our audience what it calls in Khmer okay so this dish is called Sakko and Dok Prok 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 Sakko and Dok 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 Prok Tí ở bên này cái khó sợ, cái câu ăn tập và học. Chà, so can you also tell us a little bit on anything you can think of this that would you know um give back the benefits to um to our body? To our body, okay. So I see here, okay, this is hard. There's protein on the on the beef. There's some vitamins from the lime, and the chilies I love using in my cooking because um I I watch my weight. And I know it's good for metabolism. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. The Akani Jang Ban Dang and Naja, Joey Kaban Pepta, um, Joey Kapiak Yang Mentan Rung Hulang Kaloa, Jah, Hai Kat Dang Ta, um, Mate, with Joey Yung Rung Nang Jang, Nana, Dial Ban Dang Hanya Mate Hai Ranta, Pantayum Ham and Naja, but I can't pull my pet Pepta Ham at them all. I just uh, went to uh, um, uh, for a medical checkup with my husband, mm. and one of the things that doctor told him to stop completely is chili oh, really? because he's been to eating too much of it, and it also produces the 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 acid that yeah. that doesn't help him. Um, uh, no, that has been causing him the um, the throat inflammation. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, only because he eats too much of it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So. Anyway. <laughs> Well, because you your body is uh, more um, I don't know stronger or whatever, Maybe. but not for him. But he loves it, so it's a torture for him. Oh no! <laughs> well, anyway, go ahead. I'm sorry. Did it start? Oh yeah. So why I chose this dish was um, I heard about this prahok mm. when I came to Cambodia, and people were like, oh, you know, foreigners don't like it and mm. everything. Mm. This was the first way that I tasted it. And I loved it because I'm Korean one, <laughs> and we love that fermented taste as well. I see. So people are always like surprised when I order this in restaurants. That's why. 
ចាំយំសំបកនេះតែសាវិជ្ជាចំណុចល្អមែនតែណាណាជួយក៏ <cười> เอ่อครูคุซาในក្នុងประเทศกุเรจ้ะคือญาม <cười> Um, uh, so you now not only like to eat it, but also cooking it. Yes, I'm looking yes. forward to learning. <laughs> All right, so okay, we are going to start this uh, very special dish with um, uh, making our our prahok sauce. Okay. Yeah. So normally, uh, prahok sauce. Is the people normally uh, boil the prahok in their um, uh, what uh, boiling water mm. and make and use the juice from it to mix with other uh, of spices. Um, but today I will make a prahok sauce that is completely pure prahok, <laughs> but we'll be um, lighting it with a lot of spices. So this is thinly sliced shallots, mm -hmm. um, garlic. Um, this is thinly sliced and chopped um, ginger. Mm -mm. Oh, tamarind. No. Oh, what's the good? it's galangal. Galangal. Yeah, it's galangal. So um, this is also from the ginger family. It's so good for us. Um, but um, you would see it, for example, um, you know, in a big chunk, in mm. like what? Let me think. Uh, tom yum or something like that. Oh. With the lemongrass. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. But normally, mm. uh, authentically, you wouldn't see it because it's always been hidden in the lemongrass paste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Only up to quite recently that we showed this in the cooking. Otherwise, mm. it's always hidden in the lemongrass paste. Mm. So I'm glad um, to show you how to how to use this in yeah. in dish yeah so as you can see um we have to really synthesize it because let's taste Let it. it it is really punchy well not really because it's in a small small it's, yeah it's more bitter than ginger that's right and it takes a little time it is more mm. yeah it takes a throat and things like that deeper Hmm. Yeah, so um, I have to do this because once it, if we, um, you know, yeah. keep it in a big chunk, it's not that fun to <laughs> chew it. Yeah. So it takes a lot of time to do this, but it's fun. It's part of the cooking. <laughs> um, what else do we have here? This is mm, um, lemongrass. Yes, lemongrass, and we just uh, thinly slice it, and we only use the stalk, not the leaf. Um, so this is how we want it. And it has to be very, very thinly sliced. Mm. Yeah, so this is about like, um, I think 10 stock. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah, so it's a lot of slicing again. Um, we also have coffee and lime right here. This is coffee and lime. Oh, Our coffee and lime. And this is how it looks like. Yes. Yeah, this is how it looks like. Right. Um, yes, please. So oh. it's so fresh, it's so fragrant, and it also will be helping to lighten our, our sauce as well. Yeah? Awesome. Uh, yes, so what else do we have here? The key part of the sauce is limes. Limes, yeah. Yeah, without lime, this sauce is a bit too strong okay. for me too. So we'll use this to citrus, um, yeah? And now let's talk about, of course, Brahok. Uh, I already meant it um, because we wanted to do it differently um, and so we'll be using it with um, all of these to mix our sauce and we because perhaps is so salty as we all know mm. um, we will be using um, palm sugar um, to help um, balance um, the, the sauce as well um, how did you mince it with your knife or okay yeah so 
It's wow. a lot of mincing and chopping, yeah. chopping today. Um, yeah, it's fun. Um, could you just help anything? Just tell our audience what do you know in this? Um, awesome. This, yeah. I know carrots. <laughs> Yes, uh, you're right. You're so yeah. good. <laughs> uh, these are the beans, uh, cucumber, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't. Are these small eggplants? This is crispy eggplant, okay, okay. eggplant. Uh, if we, That's yeah, nice. exact. Um, coffee coffee alliance, alliance. We talk about it. And I don't know what this is. And um, this is I can't remember the word the mm. word in English, but for sure we have it. Um, in Khmer. In Khmer, no, yes, in Khmer called um, kachai. Can, can chai. Can yeah. chai. But we also have the name in English uh, also, and also the um, scientific names in the book as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and we Banana. also have green bananas here. Um, yeah. And we also have mixed, you know, basil, uh, mixed uh, mints and, and other things here as well. All right. So before we move on to sharing how we make the sauce, I would love everybody who's watching now to share um, so that it helps us to spread the way of sharing this cooking yeah. um, with people who are not be able to watch now. So please everybody share, uh, share it. Um, okay, so main things also is the beef. Um, I again do not know the exact word for the cut. Mm. Um, but I know <laughs> in Khmer is a thigh of the of a cow, and it's very important that you um, that the beef is tender enough. Mm. As you can see, it's very tender. Mm. But one thing that we need here is the um, a little fat, okay. not too much. It's just a little to help to, um, moist um, uh, the the beef um, while when we cook it. Okay. Yeah. Um, and this is just as you can see, it's about one point five cm, yeah, uh, a centimeter of cut um, um, uh, for um, the size of the beef. And normally we would cook it in the grill, right? Um, mm. Charcoal grill. But of course we can't do it here, so we'll be using our pan <laughs> and cook it. Um, uh, on the pan without any oil, so it's kind of uh, no oil. Yeah, no oil. So it also produce, it still produce um a little uh, flavors mm. of the grill, um but just not the smokiness of it. But I've been doing that, it it works fine. Yeah, so just trust me, <laughs> that it will be fine. All right, so we will be cooking this uh uh this uh, I mean the the beef pretty soon but for now we will not do it because we want to cook it and eat it fresh yeah fresh hot. and hot yeah 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 so oh my gosh one thing that i forgot is have you tried eating dish this with number never jump? never okay so i will tell you another way to eat it um yeah with this these uh, uh um uh, uh, uh fish um i'm sorry noodles and um we will be eating it in a bowl like a salad it's just so yummy okay so before we move on maybe we try to have a look at the comment okay just in case anybody asks us about anything um, thank you everybody for watching <laughs> what do you mean irene <laughs> uh, so thank you Oh wow, there's a lot of people watching. Some people just said that I mentioned that um, it's not so clear. So I'm just asking whether it's the the uh, the, the, the picture or the sound that is not clear. Mm. Yeah. Please let us know. Chat some people might be young but you act to a band and by new young Somebody said, uh, dish this make them uh, more watering. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 You're a friend there and you also know how to eat brahok. Yeah, love it. <laughs> จิมรีบซื้อบ่บ่หกตะนองนะจ้าอกุนบ่าวมงคลตะนองนะบ่าวบ่าวไอ้ง่ายขอบ่าวไอ้มอสอกขม้าถ้าตายอําถือมหกจ
សំពងហាយសភើញ៉ាំអូហ្វីសកោពីដោយសារអាចញុំប្រកាយបាត់ពេលចាសភើញ៉ាំឥឡូវនេះយើងមានជាពិសាជាពីពិសាហើយខ្
uh, um, uh, uh, ask you now to how chop you, this. How would you like this chop? Um, very um, finely. Okay. Mm -hmm. And while you are doing that, mm -hmm. I will be um, also um, have a lime. Okay. Looks like you're a cook. Uh, I like cooking. That's really good. That's good. So I'm really happy to be here with you. Oh, that's nice. I'm happy too. Um, just for your information, my husband, please watch this. Yeah, Joey does it very well. I really hope you can develop between dishwasher to cook as well soon. That will be my wish for the 14th anniversary. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> All right, so move it here. Okay. With yeah. the seeds as well, right? Everything, please. Okay. And right now, so as you can see, everybody, watch us. Now we have other brahok in our bowl. We have about four um, uh, fresh chili, mm. and that's really just to help with the flavors, not completely for the spiciness. Feel free to add more. And right now you can add everything in. Okay. So this is our thinly sliced um, um, galangal. Um, thinly sliced um, lemongrass. Lemon um, this is all of, it, chef. all of it, please. And this is thinly sliced, again, <laughs> garlic and um, shallots. Ah, sliced. Mm, sliced. And this is yeah, you know, you can talk more. Oh, I'm this sorry, is the I'm sorry, you should talk more. Kaffir lemon leaves, right? Yes. Okay. And... Oh, it smells amazing. Yep. And right now, we mm -hmm. just need our sweet flavor. Yeah. And we'll be using, for now, just a uh, three um, tablespoon. Uh, I think it's inside. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's and inside here? No, no, inside the leaves. Oh. They know where the temple is, yeah, huh? Yeah. yeah. Three of um, that. Three. Mm-hmm. Uh, one, two, three, four. And I will be um, asking you to squeeze um, okay. the limes. The limes, yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah. No problem. Just take your time. Sure. And you know, once you cook, when mm. you have the chance to cook with um, uh, palm sugar, yeah. you always have a right to lick it too. Oh, really? Afterwards, <laughs> can I? I already had a spoonful. <laughs> Have you always loved cooking, chef? You all, about three, four, uh, of, no, four, four, five of age. Four, five years, yeah. wow. Yeah, I already started to know mm -hmm. that we could cook something, but it was, um, it was um, advised um, of through um, uh, assistance from our neighbors. Yeah. Um, but to, since then, and my sister, my older sister, who is mm. in the U.S. right now, really is the main person who inspired me to cook more. Even though um, she is not into cooking as much now, okay, <laughs> but she really. Oh, but she was before. She was I before see. because my parents were always very busy. They'd never been home to cook for us. Mm. So um, she was six and I was four. We already started to cook and help ourselves. Right. And that's how we. We keep cooking, so move it here, yes, please. Yeah. So squeeze all of this lime, sure. and now we are um, just squeezing uh, the lime juice of four limes, mm. and uh, it will be a bit too thick. So I will also add just a bit of water. Okay. I started cooking when I was, I think, sixteen, because I was 16. getting. Sixteen. Yeah, because in England you go to a different city usually mm -hmm. for university, mm -hmm. so I wanted to be able to cook for myself. And so I begged my mom to start helping me in the kitchen, uh, letting me help her in the kitchen. Mm. So that's that's really started. great. Um, Joey, thank you for sharing that. You know, one of the dreams that I want to see, I heard a lot of stories about Cambodian um, children, mm. not only men, mm. not only boys who um, started to travel uh, outside the country for pursue um, higher education. Yeah. Uh, but also for a uh, girl as well, is that they adding up washing dishes because they don't know how to cook so when you in the group of students yeah, right yeah. somebody has to do the shopping somebody has to do the uh, cooking, cooking and somebody else has to do the cleaning up and and yeah so i'm afraid that some of our cambodian kids mm. ending up doing the cleaning up and the, uh, and the washing the dishes because they don't know They're how not to, to cook. cook yeah um it's i'm not saying all but um not a good numbers of people that i know um and that's that's not help them to um to be independent and of course you know when you don't cook your own food 
it makes you miss your home more. It does, yeah. And also probably makes you fat. Yeah. Eating <laughs> That's time. right. <laughs> I think it's such a good uh, way to share, you know, your culture and where you're from. Yeah. Kind of, you bond through it. Mm. So it seems like, you know, people might not know anything about Cambodia. And yet when they taste the food, it's like they form a connection to it. Correct, correct. And that's also one of the reasons that I, you know, that we as a company invested a lot of money just to travel around the world to talk about food. Not only talk about it, but also make them food and and ask them and, and let them try and, and, and taste it. Because when you only talk to people uh, about your food, your, mm. uh, your cuisine, but they never taste it it doesn't really relate you know it's hard so um yeah so um july this year is five it was five weeks um uh, for me to um to travel to in the u.s um, mm. for five different four or five different states yeah, yeah just to do that um yeah I, I i do think that one of the ways to share and talk about our um our culture and traditions is through food mm. and you know once it comes to a round table yeah you always have so much more to talk about for sure. yeah for sure. using the food but also you know one of the reason people um keep asking me well chef you already know how to produce you know um home experience uh the mm. home home you've been there yes um and why don't you do more of that um i said because we only do it maximum three times per week and mm. the reason is that i would like to give myself enough time to, bon to do more research sure write more books yeah um give much more impact than just focus on making money only mm. yeah because once i really believe that cambodian food is a great way um it great it has a great uh, great flavors mm. uh, very um beneficial um to our body but also um um what else what i want to say is that it's but the world doesn't know about it yeah, yeah and sure. we also can use it i believe we can do use it you know gastronomy when when the gastronomy uh, food uh, uh we can use when 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 a country that the food is known um you know that really can use it to attract more um tourists more um opportunities yeah and then you know chef Nat will be you know i will be the one who who who, who try to help to do that yeah. but it will benefit everybody for sure um and that really what i'm trying to do not only for me mm. but anyway so mix it and mix it very well okay. yeah um maybe you need two of two these spoons? yeah okay. and i think we also yeah try to mix it very well mm -hmm. um and I so also think that we might need a little more um, lime juice, but okay. let's make it well first, and then we gonna adjust um, sure. one more time. Okay. Yeah. For me, cooking is also a way to relax, but also it's a way of um, practicing creativity. So I just love. Um, I really believe that human beings need to be creative mm -hmm. to be to feel whole and alive that's good in whatever way it is and for me cooking is just a really easy way um you know just trying adding one new thing or when you don't have ingredients trying something else that's right that's um, right that's right yeah especially when you cook i'm sorry yeah. especially when you cook um not in your own country right you have to know mm. what can be um substituted uh, that's up to, yeah. Yeah, yeah and um yeah it's just so fun um um, uh, um to do that it's a, it's a very challenging mm. but in a way that you know you can be always be creative but you have to have the knowledge of understanding what's available there sure. um yeah that's also answer one of the question people ask me chef are you based in any restaurant i said no and i don't want to mm. because <laughs> i want to do more mm. <laughs> okay let's look Let's read some more comments. Looks okay. like we have a lot. Wow. Yeah. Hey, everybody, if you are watching this, please share. Um, okay, where were we? Um, hi, Nick. Rotok Chan, the Gok, He said, The weather is, uh, uh, is Chinese or Cambodian? The waiter. We don't have weather. We sell what? Um, sell service. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I <laughs> Well, we just need somebody to help uh, uh, washing the dishes. So if anybody 
would like to join us and volunteer with that, welcome to. So today's one last talk about talk about men yen. For the test, Chanya Bao. Oh, I think they already have. Oh my God! Somebody says, mm. um, "Handsome men and beautiful women are cooking together." Yeah. Okay. 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 อ่าสระตกหมดฮะนี่ខ្ញុំចង់ចំបានខុសគេបងចាអើហៀនចំបានទៅលើយើងកំពុងតែផ្ញាបៃអញ្ចឹងដើម្បីអឺនេះទៅ
It's nothing wrong about yeah. it. Yeah. So I had I had this I did this talk last year. It was called um, it was all about not giving advice because I feel like everybody wants advice, like a cookbook, but actually it's not always applicable in the same situation. Different tastes, different ingredients too. Mm. Like mm. lime here tastes different to back in London. Yeah, but so also yeah, the consistency of the of the um, sugar is also different as mm. well. The fish sauce also. Like everything is different. Yeah. yeah. So I think there's a comfort of a cookbook or people giving instruction, mm -hmm. but actually the real magic is where you figure it out yourself. Yeah, perfect. Um, yeah, exactly. And people have to have this mentality that you know there is no one rule that works for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Make your own. You know, whatever works for you and you like it, continue. Yeah. So do you think it well mixed now? <laughs> I, I take that as a suggestion that is not well made. <laughs> yeah. How does that look? I think it looks correct. It okay. looks nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, now we can always do okay. this again. Mm. It's still very salty. Mm. Right? But I think the lime already like almost there. Mm. So I would just another two. Okay. And then we will see from there. And the sugar mm. to balance out the salt. That's right, it has to be because mm. these three things has to balance the salty, mm. um, the sweet, um, but also the um, um, uh, the, the sour uh, of the, the sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're getting some thick bits now. That's right, that's right. Is that okay? Then it means, yes, 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 yes. Well, that's it, it's supposed to be. Mm. So that also means that you need to mix better okay <laughs> okay let's go Huey mm -hmm. oh my god this is gonna be amazing it will it will mm. and yeah so once our upper hot sauce on is done when we find the balance is right um, we will start working on the ingre um, the I'm sorry the uh, vegetable but also our meat yeah mm. so the key here really is the sauce yeah. Oh, yeah yeah so spend a little more time on your sauce would be fine so Joey while yes. you're doing this would like you to just talk a little more about what brought you here what brought me to Cambodia? Yeah, and why are you staying? That's the, that's, the, that's the more interesting question. What brought me here was, I was working in London mm. um, and I felt like I was working in a bank and I felt like the life wasn't really for me. I didn't feel very fulfilled. You know, it was well paid. Um, I was good at my job, but it didn't fulfill me. It was something was off. So that's when I got into coaching actually. Mm. Um, and then I decided I need some time out to process some feelings and some grief that I had. So I traveled the world for, uh, initially it was supposed to be a year, but ended up six months. Uh -huh. um, and then came to Cambodia. I really liked it and saw opportunities here, mm. both a need for the work I do, mm. um, which is a need everywhere, but especially in Cambodia, there aren't a lot of people doing what I do. Mm. Um, so there's a lot of like trauma, a lot of um, things yeah. that need processing. Yeah. But also, I love the people spirit of like entrepreneurship. Oh, like you, you know, like you're starting off this thing, thank you, and you've been on an incredible journey. And so many incredible people are doing that here. So the combination of the two is why I'm here. All right, I stayed. that's great. You know what? I have to say that I have heard a lot of similar, uh, similar, uh, 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 mm. similar stories. Yes. Yeah. And thank you for yeah being here, um, yeah. And um, so part of your job right now um, yes. to do uh, to, to be as a coach, are you training more coaches now? Uh, interesting. That's a very interesting question because actually that's part of what I want to do for next year. That's to good. maybe not train professional coaches, but help train leaders and people. Um, so leaders acting as coaches mm. so that um, instead of leaders being you know telling people what to do which is the old model mm -hmm. of how things work mm -hmm. um, leaders coaching the teams to bring out the best in them that's right and also coaching is all about making the space for people to discover themselves mm -hmm. asking them 
um, deep questions that open possibilities and providing that, uh, really listening to them. And, I'm, and my real belief is that if more people use these skills in real mm, life, mm. in relationships, in workplaces, governments, everything, the world is going to be such a better place for it. So that's why. Yeah. So great question. Yeah. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. And I think that's really, really important because, you know, being a leader, the, for me, it's, it's all about um, bring your um, uh, your um, um, uh, co-worker mm. to their highest level of potential. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm 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 so happy to to hear more of that and would love to be one of them. Yes. <laughs> I think you are already. So much more. How I get on to it, and I like you go to more more. I guess we should start myself, right? Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Absolutely. Okay. So one more time. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, and then we should move on. Okay. The little finger. Mm. Oh, this is nice. Mm. If I cook it next time, I would put way more chilies, but it's probably too spicy for other people. No, you still have ton to adjust it yourself. Okay. Um, yeah. So anyway. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Um, okay, you have to talk a little bit about this. Okay. Yeah, um, in your way, describing how it tastes, how it's, um, how you like it. Um, it's, it's how it tastes, how I like it, okay. <laughs> mm. So initially I get the salt and the lime and the chili. And then the whole like smell of the fermentation. And actually I think I like it because it reminds me of home, like Korean Aww. food. Like all the, we have this fermented bean curd soup, mm. which not many people, well actually I think nowadays people have become more open to that kind of flavor, uh -huh. the fermentation. And like kimchi, you know, is mm -hmm. a famous Korean dish and is very fermented. Right. So it kind of, it's different, but it reminds me of that kimchi you use fish sauce, yeah. just fermented fish. Oh, or sometimes even a shrimp paste, right? Even shrimp paste, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's definitely different, mm. but I just, uh, it just, yeah. It okay, I'm home. glad. You, you, it, it makes you feel like home. Yeah. <laughs> but up to up to now, do you feel like um, it still tastes a very strong for hog, or is it's more of like lighter and because of the you know all the ingredients and all the stuff? So I didn't taste the hog before, which maybe <laughs> I should have. But this is very, this is like strong flavor, mm. but not too strong okay. for sure. I could That's take good. stronger. Good. That's good. Yeah, for me, I love brahok. So, it's I know I never feel like um, brahok is strong for me because I, I I I'm born and trained to eat it. Mm. Um, but you know, everybody does the same. But not doesn't mean that everybody likes it. Yeah. But so I'm glad we can cook more brahok. Yes. <laughs> All right. So right now, uh, I would give you the chance of. Um, Simply slice, you know, um, these um, vegetable okay. and make uh, a plate of it while I am going to cook, well, grill mm. uh, our uh, beef. So, do you slice before you grill or slice after you grill? We, I will um, grill it and then slice it after. Okay. Yeah, because I would like the beef to hold all the flavors <laughs> um, and it tastes better that way. Yeah. So, and how well do you cook it? That's that's my question that to you. Okay. How do you like it? Rare, medium rare, well done? Like medium rare. Okay, that's good. That so will be my waist too. Yeah, so still a little pink inside, mm. um, but it's not too raw. Yeah, um, I, I think that's, um, that should be, uh, that should work very well with this dish. So we have all of these, so uh, make a beautiful dish. Oh, pressure. Okay, how do you want these sliced? Like um, yeah. Um, imagine I wouldn't I wouldn't want to tell you what to do mm -hmm. but just imagine that uh, now we are have so in one bite mm. we will be having the beef okay the vegetable and dip in the sauce oh, in one bite yeah okay. in one bite so normally size. that's how that's right okay. so imagine it and then you know make the small okay. make, yeah make things so that it's also still um, uh, maintain the crispiness of the vegetable mm -hmm but not too difficult to bite as well. Wow, that sounds good. <laughs> okay. What 
What do you think? That's good. Too small? Too thin? No. Too thin? No, no, no. Too fine. thin? It's too fine. small? It's okay. It's not. It's not too thin. Okay. So, um, the afternoon, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 What's funny? Uh, our friend, um, mm -hmm. yeah, Satiri, um, yum, she said, yup, coach and food are needed. Oh, Satiri. Yes. Hello. Uh, yeah, we know, we okay, know each other. Okay, small world. Hi, mom, Satiri. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, I'm really bad at arranging. It does not need to be okay. perfect. Well, because beautiful perfect means differently it does yeah right? there so is whatever way you think it's good, it's your way okay yeah. okay you have to be just be creative okay yeah it does not mean that everybody approve yeah. that that's the beautiful thing you make but it's it's for you okay um hi to peer how's it going um akun bong um sorry akun มันเจ็บเบอร์บอกเอาไปเจออังกฤษเตี้ยเต็มถ้าถ้าบังเลยขย่มไหมนะจ้าเจ็บเบอร์มาโฮพายเจ็บเจ็บเยอะอังกฤ
liêng ót tập chấn lọ bún nhám tập hai chè tim mũi đầm bay gọi cái prai pe thon hai nàng ti pi chà đầm bay mơ tham biến say nắng nè có bàn tay rồi biết dương phơ rồi hóc rồi có cái hai tha để xa lỏng bọc chai ở bia chơi chip ăn nắng chè cứ bên đây tha cứ ăn rau xe nắng đầm nạ ca nắng bị cua tại chui được bánh tè nè chè bàn tay vì bên ca tại chơi kia ca vô đang khóc khóc kia chẳng sẽ lời bong bồn ok xong từ mới sạch ngọc lẹt We have someone saying that also adding Khmer basil inside also bring up the fragrance. By the way, really like to watch your cooking bowl. Say it again. But the Khmer basil also brings up the fragrance. By the way, she really likes watching your cooking. Thank you. We will be using some of the um, uh, basil and mixed basil here. We chop it a little bit up and then we're going to be adding in our sauce once we it's time for us to eat. Not now because um, these things get so quickly soaked and it doesn't stay fresh a very long time in the sauce. Mm, because this is a very thick yeah. and heavy sauce. Yeah, yeah. yeah please pick answer, answer them if you can. <laughs> we have someone <laughs> advertising her grandma's prahok from Siem Reap. Very clean and handmade. Oh! So if, you, if, you, if you need <laughs> some clean prahok. Some clean prahok, so now you know. Yeah. We have to get it. Oh, banana. Yes, banana. Mm. This always makes my tongue go like, dry. Yes, that's why you need what I will do, do we? No, 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 it's fine. Trim it, trim it. Um, um, so that it's just easier to chew. Mm. Yeah. Um, I'll take off the... Let me do this, okay. actually. Here, use the peeler. Yeah, yeah. this peeler I, I saw when I came to Cambodia. you never seen that before? Never seen this kind of somewhere peeler else. before. <laughs> yeah. We use, yeah. It's different somewhere else. And I like this way better. It's much more practical. It's, it's quicker. That's right. Quicker. Um, yeah, and then thinly oh. slice it again. Thinly slice it? Okay. Yeah. Um, midnight, get it. Well, I already had lunch. Yeah, we are not, so we are very hungry. Yeah. <laughs> and still, I hope you still um, stay with us, even though you already ate. Sus ấy đừng ăn khnì để bàn chôm mờ. Sus ấy bong hì, bong đu bài hao chăm rồi cô tập học. My si, my my cousin said she's already have her uh 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 um uh plates of rice ready. She just needs to wait for this. <laughs> okay, is she coming? <laughs> My grandma is a rock, okay. Yeah, okay, so go young and I will jump and bake them. So you don't season the beef when you before you cook? Uh, no, because no. you know why? Because of the hot right? That's right. And no oil in the pan either. No, it doesn't. Only without oil is already. Um, quite um, juicy. Okay. Um, it just does not need any oil. Right. But then, if you um, um, have the oil um, um, in the with the beef, mm. it doesn't it doesn't taste like a grill anymore. It tastes like fry. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So I prefer not to. Okay. Yeah. So this is our beef right now. Oh my god! It smells so good. So, so, good, good. And so fresh. Yeah. So look, we. I'm not making it into, you know, a uh, uh, too, too, um, I think this is still, um, let's try. Yeah. Are you going to slice? Yeah, slice, but then, um, just slice it so in a way that it's, um. Across the grain. That's okay. right. Thank you for the word in English. Is, does that, why across the grain, can you explain for the, this is enough? Yes, this is enough. Uh, uh, a bit, a bit uh, thinner, 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 thinner would be great because okay. again, remember we have a lot of things to eat in one bite. Oh, um, pizza khmer kete han ban dao isai. No han the ten side. Che, bạc ana yeng han ban dao isai. Kư miên nay the yeng phu isai nung dia che han the the side the side chon. No bis vat. Che bạc yeng han the ten side ban ana yeng cắt vi ao play play yeng su tum pi. Nang nay. Chang tu bai tha side. Um, so, 
I think it's good enough, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's still very pink. Mm. Um, would you say so? Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. Shall I keep on slicing? Yeah, keep okay. on slicing. And um, I will also check. Let's find the grain. Yeah, we might have just to um, do that and then taste the whole thing. Yeah. And can't then wait. we have to say goodbye and <laughs> and have our lunch. Yes. So why 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 against the grain? Is it more? Less chewy? More yeah, tender, that's right. It? That's right. I just explained that ah, in, okay. in Khmer. Okay. Um, is that sometimes um, the way you cut, especially um, yeah, on uh, what do we say across the across the grain? Yes. Across the grain. Across the grain. Yeah. Across okay. the grain is that help um, that it help to um, because if you do it um, lengthwise mm. with the grain, mm. it, it 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 doesn't help it to 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 to, to be tender. Ah, yeah, easier I see. to chew. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so now you you are cutting it, so yeah. it's just so. Is that okay? Soft. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so soft. Oh my god! One of my son, he just loves drinking the blood. Oh my god! Really? <laughs> It, it is tasty. Really, and so yummy as well. Cha, chân sâm mưa tỏ ngọt nha bông bông. Chân bà đông tiền xài đồ bông bông chân dịch đấy nè. Cha bà xài nâng cho ăn chương năng, rồi có cho chăng chương năng ấy nè. Cứ xài chân. Bần ta xài mẹp nhóm cửa bần năng. Mình cho ăn bê, mình cho ăn bê. Hai ca nà đại dương hành viê. Aoi, cái hai ca tự tân sạch chân tớ. Vì thua ở sạch nâng đi ơ phôi. Mình aoi, mình, 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 mình sạch đê. Cha hơi sạch nít tam bát tơ cơ bên mình chỉ sạch và phép sạch sạch đây chẳng đi xua nhà mẹ hay nè nhưng trong thẻ ta tập thiêm đấy nè chàng tích tiết dương đường biên mù là hai cứ vô tập thiêm nắng đã lia chỉ muối nắng um, tập học bao giờ là ngày chúng anh bên tàn so we'll use this mm. to mix in our yes, yes. okay that was the flavor so in like in the west yeah we would usually wait, I don't know, maybe a couple of minutes before slicing the beef. I, that's what I don't understand. Mm. Um, because, and they would call it, you know, let resting. the best rest, resting. Yeah. In Cambodia, the hotter, the better. Mm. Yeah, because, I don't know, it can taste better. I and mean, maybe just how we were trained with it, I don't know. Yeah, because I think they say, because I prefer it hot, mm. but they say when it's rested, they would, the blood, less blood comes out, so it stays in the meat. I think that's the theory. Mm. Yeah, I prefer my meat hot too. Yeah. But <laughs> well, well, anyway. Okay, so right now, we can taste our mm. thing. Okay. I haven't cut any of the plant things. The, what was it called? The morning, no. No, it's um, water, water morisa, morisa, whatever. Yeah, whatever, whatever they say. Whatever. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me move this okay. so that we have the whole picture mm -hmm. of everything. Right. And we'll give you this okay. as well. And oh, we're going to put it in the middle? <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Now we're tasting. Okay. Okay, it's tasting time. And we'll chop a little bit of this to... We'll be chopping this a little bit. Mm. It's got the pro cuts. Huh? It's got the professional cuts. <laughs> nice. Well, you know. <laughs> I've yeah. been through many cuts also with my fingers, right? I've never took up my fingers. Look at this. Oh, is that a bone? Yeah, yeah. I still do that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still a human. Ooh, it tastes so good. All right, cool. what we can do right now is I also need some food. All right, and <laughs> this is your pair. Okay. And what else do we need? Okay, we have the beef. I'm sorry. We have the beef. <laughs> yes. And we'll give you some. Some juice. Yes. Okay. Chăng chi bị cô bao giờ nhé? Cùng cho tên này sao? Chà. Đặt thịt máu, nước nóng, 
I don't like the chicken blood congealed stuff, but I like this. Oh, it, it's so <laughs> different. Right. All right, so mix our broccoli okay. sauce very well. Mm. I would just have this with rice. And? Mm, so good. Come to night, let's open it up. Let's pull oil more, oil yummy. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so, so you can always have a bite of these, a piece of these, okay. and a meal yeah, of everything you want. Mm. Oh, I'll go for some fatty. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this water thing. Alright. Oh, this is gonna be ugly on, on camera. I don't care. No, with my big mouth. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> okay, let's get this in. Mm. 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 Wow. Do you have how to make prohok in the Nyum book? <coughs> or is it just the raw ingredient that? Everybody should have. Yeah. Okay. I did not go that way. Mm. Yeah, because then I have to also do other like everything. Yeah, shrimp paste. Oh, mom, it's too many. Yeah. So the hot sauce is a bit strong, of course. Once you put everything together with mm. a little of sauce, mm. it's just amazing. I'm sorry, you should say that, not me. I'm now trying. To I agree. <laughs> 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 what Chef Nack said. <laughs> no, 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 no. That that just reminds me of my my boys. Oh really? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes when his father, when I ask his father, mm. what do you think about this, and he like take a little time to think about it, and boy would say, say yes, say yes, so that it ends quickly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I can I try another one? Oh, you of course. It's I want to oh. try with the banana because yeah. I find this. A bit bitter normally. Yes, but then um, just have oh, just a bit more sauce because it's it helps. Okay. Yeah. While you're eating, I'm gonna um, reading some more comments. Mm. It was so good, huh? Like mm, it stays mm. in the mouth. It's mm -hmm. just so nice. <laughs> mm. I'm self-taught cooking too. Ah, Sarai Sambat said. I'm self-taught cooking too. That's why I like to watch your cooking show. Mm. Thank you so much. Join the club. Chili so bao mili ya, so sabai. Um, will you do cooking class in Australia? Please invite me there. <laughs> I'm happy to do it. One of the things that I do um, is to drop to drop. Cambodian food bomb everywhere. So that's exactly what I want to do. So please let us know when and where. Okay, thank you very much. By the way, thank you for mentioning about that. Hmm. Somebody is hungry. So they said, okay, let's stop soon. <laughs> um, ja, yummy, thank you. Oh, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> With a little heart. Oh. I hope you're here too. Oh, so today, Bong, so today. Hit the mic. Yeah. I think that may be time for us to say goodbye. Okay. Um, any final comments, words, um, expressions? I don't know. It's your time before we say goodbye. Oh no! Thanks for having me so much. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. អរគុណតាហើយរបាញ់ជួយនឹងទស្សនាជាវិធីធ្វើអំ
hai đã sát hai đang đặt tập chuyển lúc bao dương hai dương nhôm về dương cô về ở sau tới hai dương nhâm ly khi tập mòn cha mà đong từ hai nước chanh mình đèn cha ông bên tai ở dưới ác sai từ lơ ca cho chặt đại cha chấm nước bị thi không ca nhâm đồng bảo chọn tiết tiết nhâm nè nhà mày cho bom bom mày khơi cả bàn đấy cha ở con trán và đong tiết sẽ đặt bom bom để ở toàn bàn tiền sẽ phơi nhâm xong chơi ở mũi tiết sẽ đặt sẽ phơi nhâm bom bom để trong ban hơi kịch đắng thê miền mật thê được có bom bom để chật rượu ca được có miền thuộc mình coi ca hơi plan hơi cầu rồng hay nữa cha sẽ hơi nhắm cứ chia cả đô bị xe mệt tan sầm rập đây cứ chỉ bật mỏng thầm mày nát cha nên chui ở phụ cô ở trong ca miền cầm đất xanh xanh trong ca chậm ăn hơi nâng mình thầm tập ăn nâng thì ấy kế thà phải chọc xem xem để mà hộp dương và đòi đòi riêng cài dương tiền cha anh chẳng nhưng mà con trai được ở kia and thank you so much Shui yeah for being here cooking a very very authentic Cambodian dish with the prahok real prahok yeah the real prahok yeah so it's been great having you here and always pleasure to know you as well yeah so ở con trai được ở kia để bàn chơi room chơi sân á hai nâng thôi bây trong cái đó chú like and share hai nâng chụp bóng on hai nâng chụp bóng on nâu um phê lực rồi phê à sao phải cài cài tiền chỉ mua nước nhiều cái tiêu thay thay hai nữa chấm mơm mơm miếng hộp ấy phải được ạ ở con trai trong đẹp lia lại nít nhom nâng tơ nhà bài hạ ở con